Suspect Amanda Munoz de Toro, she is the executive director of Phoenix Aid, an organization that helps refugees on Lesbos. Amanda, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. It's obviously busy, a busy moment for you. First of all, just take us back to a few days ago and describe Moria for us before the fires. So Moria has been a hell place for many years now. People with disabilities, severe medical conditions, pregnant women with children were all living in makeshift tents uh, throughout winter and now with very high uh, degrees during the summer. Uh, little access to medical aid, little access to legal aid, psychological services, and obviously now this is even worse. Access to Moria right now is almost impossible. It's dangerous. What about the challenge that the government faces in uh, what it says is going to be a rehousing project that is mostly going to move people uh, who are at Moria to other places in Lesvos until uh, even if they fulfill their promise of rebuilding Moria itself? I mean, how do you find places for so many people on a small island like Lesvos? So there's two challenges. First is finding a place as big as Moria was to house these people. And second, the local population do not want a new camp in Moria. So as far as we were informed today, uh, people will be staying in the streets for as long as it's needed until they find the land. They do not have a place to house people for the moment. How encouraged are you by the Prime Minister of the German state of North Rhine-Westphalia saying that uh, his state is uh, willing to take in 1,000 refugees. I mean, the number itself may not be huge, but possibly other countries might be doing the same thing. Have you heard any other developments about EU nations getting involved in trying to help? Well, Germany has been promising to take people for the last year, and many of the people that were supposed to be moved and suffered from the fire were not moved. If Germany had fulfilled these promises, many of the vulnerable families that were affected by the fire would not be here. So it's the last hope we have that Germany and the other European countries do wake up. But at this point, uh, there's little hope and the trauma that the people have endured has already happened. Amanda, you talked about uh, the fact that locals don't want another camp on Moria. The United Nations High Commission for Refugees says it is very aware of tensions between locals and migrants. How much are those tensions going to increase because of the COVID-19 pandemic? Uh, I mean, Moria itself was quarantined, wasn't it? Because uh, at least one person had tested positive for the coronavirus. So if they're moving around Lesbos, how much more nervous is that going to make locals? There's at least 35 people that have tested positive and they're currently not in isolation. They're currently with the rest of the people sleeping on the streets. There's no plan that has been informed to other actors at the moment. So that's very, very worrying. On the other hand, there's constant attacks of locals, of groups of violent locals attacking NGOs, NGO cars, volunteers and the access is restricted to the camps mainly because of these fascists. Amanda, thank you so much indeed. Amanda Munoz de Toro from the NGO Phoenix Aid. Good luck with your work, of course.